Indian education system is not just giving you some information, not bothered about you. No. It is one of the most subtle and most powerful, most subtle and most powerful awakening system. Awakening means so much of involvement between guru and disciple is required. That is why in original Indian education system, guru and disciple are supposed to live together 24 hours. Disciple need to absorb the guru, not observe, absorb the guru 24 hours. Please understand. Indian education system was never day scholar method. No. Now the Indian education system is such. The original Indian education system is not non-committal narrative method. The teacher sits with the disciples. Disciples live with the teacher. 24 hours observing the behavior, the way teacher carries himself. I tell you, now it is time as per the astrology, no theory can rule any human society which is imposed on that society more than 60 years. Now 60 years is over for the Non-involvement narrative education system. I am telling you, future is Gurukul system. The future of education is where the teachers and students live together in one place. If needed, let the parents also stay there. But, because basically kids do what you do, they don't, they won't do what you say. Understand? They do what you do. They won't do what you say. Whatever you do, simply they will do. They will never do what you say? Most of the time they don't care for what you say. The future of the Indian education system, I can say, the future of the any Intelligent education system will be Gurukul system. I am not talking out of pride or arrogance. I am talking seeing the future. I am telling you. I will be leading this revival in the education system through our Gurukul system. through our Gurukul system. It is going to be the Gurukuls.
in indian education system complete involvement is required from the side of the teacher and the student student need to study the teacher teacher need to study the student understand after thoroughly studying the student teacher identifies the right subject in which the student will be successful few things are basic for everyone like science of completion and enlightenment other than the science of enlightenment all other things master selects the subject in which the student will be successful and then student is trained specifically in those fields with the knowledge of enlightenment with the science of enlightenment with the truth of enlightenment as the context even if you learn the archery enlightenment is the context if you study administration enlightenment is the context if you learn about business enlightenment is the context if you learn plumbing building houses sculpting enlightenment is the context indian education system is more of a transmission of the knowledge not transfer of knowledge it is not just information based i am telling you all the education institutions in the modern day trying to teach the indian knowledge like a sculpting or making the deities or stapatya veda in the structure of modern day education organizations like a school college they are utter failure the students who have studied up to post graduate in those institutes i can see the fellow who has studied post graduation was who has a double degree in sculpting sculpting cannot make one small ganesha <laughs> but the boy who grows up with his father as guru at the age of 6 he can do wonders in stone he can write poetry in stone when he produces something it will be literally poetry in the stone thanks to indian government allowing kids to work with the family with the parents in non hazardous fields the labor law in india has been corrected kids can work with the parents in family concerns because many of the indian art is a family concern i was wondering if the children are not allowed to work with the parents they will never learn and specialize so the western education method is based on updating the more you delay purchase of any it product you will get a cheaper and better product the more you delay you will get a cheaper and better product because it is a updation method but indian things are 
specialization method the more number of years you spend on it more you will be specialized weaving carving agriculture building that is why in our education system in our social system we insisted son doing the job of the father it is so stupid it is so stupid that system was questioned abused beaten finally destroyed now we don't have identity and we are not able to be self sustaining because the stability of our society is destroyed earlier we know every year how many engineers will be produced how many agriculturists will be produced the whole society is so stable understand it is the stability of the society decides the value of your currency nothing else it is stability of the society that decides the value of currency in a very cunning systematic way in the name of destroying untouchability which was not there the way it is projected now please understand a boy goes to the gurukul and tells the guru i want to join your gurukul guru as what is your community the boy says i do not know my father my mother is a dancer in the court so i do not know who fathered me i don't know my father's name so i don't know my community immediately guru says this level of integrity means you are a brahmana come on join the gurukul you are the highest order of the society understand the order was not decided the ladder was not just based on birth you can always raise to that next level or you can always climb the ladder by your integrity and authenticity and if at all you wanted to bring equality you should have made the people in the lower ladder lower rung of the ladder to go to the top rung but instead cunningly india has been culturally attacked and the top rung has been brought down to the lower understand the people who constantly abuse you that your culture your community your religion is based on caste system they are not talking to elevate you they are using it only to destroy you understand they are creating the evil which was never part of our community system our caste system blown out of proportion we never had people as slaves please understand india never had a slave and slave trade human beings always will live as a small gangs and groups we are a social animal we will form our own society it is natural we were classified only based on knowledge 
beautifully the society was balanced society was balanced one group was empowered with knowledge one was empowered with weapons see these are the four major powers of the society one was empowered with wealth currency treasury the another one was empowered with the land understand the four division the major powers of the society is this four land treasure weapon knowledge all the four was distributed to four different groups society was so balanced all four have to live together untouchability is invention and exaggeration invention and exaggeration of anti hindu theologies the most sacred oldest ancient living civilization this vedic tradition on its own amazing education system no other civilization has recorded so beautifully so thoroughly their whole history understand at least last 100000 years unbroken history we have recorded we have it understand ours is the most authentic calendar system everything is so beautifully recorded so beautifully available the indian education system if revived in all its authenticity we will become jagat guru guru of the world understand we were guru of the world we will become guru of the world we were guru of the world we will become guru of the world the context the shanti mantra sets about the indian education system is amazing unimaginable i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living advaita the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful jeevan mukti pradam devam क्षमापूर्ण जगद्गु वंदे परम साख्यम निनंदय स्वागत शिवन मुक्ति प्रदम देव क्षमापूर्ण जगद्गु वंदे परम साख्यम निनंदय स्वागत आनंदास्वाद